Our panel was uh, obviously CNN and Mashable talking about uh, how traditional media is, uh, or, or as uh, Casey from CNN put it, uh, progressive media. They see themselves as, as uh, iterating and improving all the time. They don't see themselves necessarily as traditional, but how established media is uh, leveraging social media and where the, uh, where the crossover occurs. So Twitter's really fast, but CNN's really trustworthy. Where do you uh, draw the line? So, you know, obviously CNN has iReport, which is their citizen journalism platform, and they're very clear to put a message at the top that says, hey, this is iReport, uh, it's citizen journalism, we haven't verified this, and then if it's great, they upgrade it to the homepage with their professional editors. So I think, you know, one of the points that came out of it is, can we trust Twitter? Well, not necessarily, but, and, you know, CNN and other brands still uh, hold a really important place for establishing trust. I've really taken to something that I'm calling single tasking which is essentially to be really, really focused. And I, you know, over the past few years, I have been a kind of a multitasking person where I'd have my extra screen and I'd be splitting between things, have my email, be reading TweetDeck or whatever. Now that I have more of a, a managerial role and I step back a little bit, what I really try and do is focus in. I have all my, uh, all my web apps essentially running as desktop apps on my Mac through Fluid, and I, I t tend to just you know open up my email, do email for a set period of time. You really get less done when you're when you're all over the place. So I've, I've really tried to focus in on singular tasks and try and uh, it, it's untraditional certainly for people in, in our position, but it really helps me get things done. I'm unsure that we've seen it yet. The really obvious answer for uh, web companies in general would be Groupon. You go to this site and you can. Uh, you know, if, if say 400 people agree to this special deal, then everyone gets the deal, and if they don't, then you don't. I think if Zynga can break its absolute reliance on Facebook, it could be, it could be a, a good play. I'm, I'm kind of unconvinced that Zynga's a long-term play right now. I, uh, I'm concerned that if they, if they kind of lose that Facebook connection or if Facebook changes the rules again, they might suddenly find themselves a much smaller company than they were before. But social gaming or group buying are two huge trends in addition to location, which is already obviously big and out there, and Foursquare is a great example. I feel like citizen journalism defines that on the ground with your, with your cell phone or with any kind of uh, con content creation tools. Generally, that's a cell phone. Sometimes it's a camera or a video camera. And that, that really describes citizen journalism to me. User-generated content, I find, is kind of a useless term because it's so broad now. But I also think there's, there's a newer trend, which is user-generated curation, which is to say that users are curating content more than they're creating it now. If you look at Facebook likes, if you look at Twitter retweets, if you even look at the way that people write personal blogs and just pull together links from other sites, I think curation is really the biggest trend in, uh, in user participation right now. So in terms of use generated content versus citizen journalism, I kind of feel like the, the former doesn't have any definition for me. I feel like citizen journalism does have a definition, even if it's kind of somewhat broad. And I don't think it necessarily uh, adds value in terms of, hey, we can monetize this better directly, but what we can do is rank our stories in a way that, hey, we already know this is popular, so it's going to continue to be popular. I mean, one of the features that Mashable has and has had since, for, for maybe like six months to a year, is this trending story, which is something where we take uh, the metrics we have around people sharing things, people viewing stories, you know, retweets, Facebook shares, that kind of thing, and then we uh, push a story to the top based on on how big it is in, in terms of sharing. And I think that's something that allows us to focus people's concentration on what's important. And sometimes we don't necessarily know what the important thing is. Sometimes it's just the case that the users are curating that content, voting on it essentially, and then we push it to the top. And does that have an advantage for us? Well, yes, because we know that if most people are interested in this, then there are obviously more people who are very, very interested in that versus other stories. So does curation have value for website publishers in terms of making more money? Indirectly it does because it lets you rank your content in a way that's going to get more interest from new users who are coming along later.